Hello, hello, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. For those of you who don't know me, I am Miss Stephanie, Miss Stephanie Chevalier, and I am a creator here on YouTube. I have piano students, voice students, and ukulele. I make lots of tutorials, and I am on here today. And by the way, if you haven't, please like and subscribe. We have, do lots of fun stuff here. Um, I'm on here today to talk about notebooks. Um, a lot of people keep their music on iPads or on their computer, and that's fabulous. I know that's a great way to keep your music. However, um, for me, I like to have my music printed out and put in a notebook. I do keep some folders. For instance, I have some music that comes to me from piano postcards. Um, and I tend to keep this in a folder because it's on beautiful stock and I just don't want to, and it's only one page, sometimes it's two. And I don't take it outside. So that just stays on the piano. But any music that I'm going to take outside of my studio or I'm going to have to turn pages um, or I want to follow along online and I want to have my music in front of me, it's really super important to have a notebook. Now, or something similar to a notebook. I'll show you what I'm talking about in a moment. But I, there are several ways that you can organize your notebook. And when I mean, when I say a notebook, what I mean is something like this, a three ring binder. This is my, my uke notebook. Um, and notice that I've got a folder in the front um, and the back. And the ring is not super big. You don't want a super large ring. Otherwise, it's really difficult to turn pages. Um, so you can just, if, if you're not going to have a whole lot of music, you know, to start out with, just get it in a notebook. Get a three ring hole punch and just put your stuff in a notebook. Um, I'll show you why in a moment, but let me show you something else. Now, this is one of my theory um, text that I use when I teach theory class. Now, if you're going to have more, um, once you start getting more and more music in your folder, what you're going to want to do is get one of these hard um, devices at the beginning and the end, and that'll keep your paper from crimping or folding, you know, into a little divot there. Keep it nice and straight and crisp so that you can turn the pages and notice that these pages don't fold or bend at all. Um, now, another way um, that a lot of people do it, this is another one of my infamous notebooks. I keep a lot of notebooks. This is a voice notebook. And I actually have this divided with dividers. Um, so you can also get dividers for your notebook. That's great. You can, especially if you're going to have more than one thing in there, or if you want to divide it into categories. Um, I think keeping your notebook alphabetically by title is the best way to go. So I would just say the title of the piece. Otherwise, you're going to have like, if you're doing a bunch of music by Counting Crows or by Mozart, you might have 10 pieces by each and you don't know what's what. So in my humble opinion, I think you should, um, rather than by artist or composer, I think it's best if you categorize yours by title. And you can also use, rather than dividers, you can just use uh, post-it tabs. And post-it tabs, you can just sort of stick on the outside of a page like so. And it sort of will, it'll serve as you just stick it to one of your pieces of one of your pages. And it will serve as a, as a divider. So um, you can also do that. Now, I, one other thing is that um, one of the reasons we like to put it in a notebook is that you want to get something that you can put your notebook on. Because typically, if you're going to be singing or if you're going to be playing the ukulele, uh, pianist, you won't need this because you have a, um, a built-in music stand. But this is really wonderful because it's really for art. So look at your local craft store. And um, you'll, this is, this came, this was probably from Walmart, I think, um, because it's, it's silver, but this is wood. And I've seen them in um, 
unfinished wood, but it's really wonderful because you can just put your notebook on this, open it up and play. People can stand behind you and look at the words. Um, if you have a, an, an iPad, it's great. However, if you're in the sunshine or um, a, a lot of times it'll just go dark because that's what iPads do often. Um, I really do like having a paper copy right there because you've got it. Um, you don't have to worry about running out of battery or anything like that. I do, however, like if you're going to have this on the beach or at a park or something to be outside for a long period of time, I like to take um, clothes pins. I have a couple of clothes pins that I'll bring with me and I'll just perhaps clothes pin my page is open so that the wind won't just like that so that the wind won't blow them close so that's a really great way to keep your music together and to keep it ready if you're going to go if you're going to go to a festival or if you're just going to go to your place of worship and you want to have your music with you birthday party wherever it is you're going on vacation and then all of your music is together and when you come to the classes that we do here um through patron you'll be able to print out your uke stuff and your piano all of you can print it all out and put it in your notebook i will do some screen sharing in the future but i'm going to do less and less and i'm going to rely on you to print out what i share with you in a pdf so that you can see my fingers when i'm playing the uke when i'm playing the piano and you can see what i'm doing when i'm breathing and singing so i have had some people say that they would like to see so that they can know that they're doing it correctly and their positions are good so please please if you're coming to classes start printing out the pdfs i promise i will get them to you days in advance um and you'll be able to print them out put them in your notebook and then it'll all be in the same spot so let's try to start doing that and i think you'll be really glad you did it's great when you sit down to practice too your uke's there everything's your piano's there all of your music is in one spot um another thing that you can do and i'll and i'll stop here is that a lot of times books that i use over and over i will go and have them bound this is three books bound together so if you have for instance um like the four chord uke book or the three chord uke book or any of the larger piano books some of them do come spiral bound now um but you can take them to like a staples type place or any business type place um, or a printing place, and they will more than likely be able to bind it for you. It just makes it easier to have the book lay flat, and um, it assures that you won't lose pages when the binding breaks, which it will break or the staples will fall out. So um, when you're using paper music, if it's over and over and over again, think about putting in a notebook and your books, think about binding some of them. And I hope this really helps. And I'll see some of you at class this week. Others, don't forget to like and subscribe.